Pumping up, pumping high Pumping up, it really feels like flying Coming up, just like a lion Workout sushi, fuck. 1200 calories I got left over. We'll see how we are going to manage this. So yeah, the sushi, oh boy, was good, was good. A lot of carbs, a lot of fat, a lot of sodium, man. But the protein wasn't very high. So I'm going to take in some uh, proteins that I may have left over. I still got 100 left over. With the sushi probably 80, like 75, in my belief. So we're heading for a shake that's gonna do just that. And it will be enough for today. And tomorrow, you will see my weight. Good morning, people. Yesterday sushi. You can see water retention here. Let's step on the weighing scale. So 600 grams heavier than yesterday. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. I could forecast my weight. <sighs> Tomorrow will be gone again. All the water retention, so. Getting in the shake and having the training in about one hour. Legs. So, leg workout from today. We're going to log for two years long the whole prep, okay? So, including the off season as well as the pre contest phase. We're now getting into 100 kilogram squat. We'll see how our form is, how many reps I can get out of this, and uh, see how much more I can do. It was a tough one, <clears throat> 120 kilograms, fuck. As you see, I go pretty deep, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, it's a new way of squatting for me uh, for the last six, six months. And therefore, I don't know, I've, I've less, less, um, less pain in my knees. And yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, I can feel that I control the weight even more. You know, if I'm just stopping at 90 degrees, I can squat more because the range of motion is just shorter. But one way or the other, it's hurting my knees, you know, and uh, right now with, with going below that 90 degrees and coming back up, you know, you're a little bit bouncing, but that can actually help the squat. So we're keeping it with 120. And, uh, we build further on this. Three whips, it's not much. Fuck. Alright, second exercise. We're not doing the Romanian deadlifts, we are doing the uh, sumo, sumo deadlifts. So, wide stand, you know, and the more normally I would do the conventional deadlifts, but I wanted to gauge, gauge more the posterior chain of my body. The posterior lower chain, okay? Uh, I want to focus more on my hamstrings, glutes. You now I think with the deadlift, with the sumo, we're involving that more. 
than a normal conventional deadlift where it will be probably more out of your back. Also that this distance between the sumo deadlift and the conventional deadlift is different. With a conventional deadlift your upper body is way lower than a sumo deadlift. So you're traveling less time to space or less uh, distance throughout space. So making it easier, right? Okay, let's get into it. 140 kilograms. It's been a long time since I've been doing this, so we'll be testing, okay? We'll see. Okay, let's bump this baby up to 160 kilograms. Let's see how many reps we are getting in. I'm trying to stay somewhere between a three to five rep max, okay? Keeping one rep in the tank. So uh, let's get into this baby. Cool, cool, cool. We're done. We're done. It's enough for today. So tomorrow we get rest. See how I feel. So I can gauge the recovery and gauge the volume that I'm doing that I've, that it is not too much. So I know exactly what we have done for today. So we'll see if we uh, get recovered from that or not, and if it is too much or not. But now it feels good. You know, no really, really painful joints or whatever. You know. But uh, go back home, take a protein shake tonight. We got a dinner with Chris, and uh, it's gonna be a huge hamburger. So yeah, there's a lot of talking in these videos, but I'm not you to try to understand exactly what I'm thinking and what decisions I make in every single workout. You know how it feels, how the programming goes, everything. You know, so you can make your own decisions and think about the decisions you make. It's pretty easy. And the reason why is you should never do things that you don't know why you're doing it. Same, plain and simple. 
you know for instance like I did with the leg extensions and the leg curls normally I would do leg extensions first then after that let the leg curls but since I was feeling a little bit itchy in the knees and uh, tendons hey let's take uh, a little bit of a rest for the uh, knee joint you know especially on the front the patella tendon and then first do the leg curls and then do the leg extensions I'm saving my ass like that so remember that all right yes of course we are with uh, Christopher the sugar man and Don burger bar and yeah we're gonna hit a burger of course I don't know which one yet but hey we'll see it's gonna be a good one I had some uh, calories left over so why not let's uh, take a look at the menu And it all goes wrong when someone is in my companion. How do you say that? In my visit, in my environment. This the sugar man. They call me Chris the Funk because I keep Chris rocking. Fuck. Yes, it's Chris the fuck. fuck. Yeah, you keep fucking. I keep funking. Absolutely. Oh, Cheers, mate. Kill it. Cheers. Kill the bitch. Ah. Avocado, eggs. Kill the bitch. Kill the bitch. To build the muscles. ATP, bro. ATP. That's all it's all about. Oh yeah, monster. Burger Gains. Yesterday, the burger. Let's take a look at the weight. So yes, right now, yesterday we had the burger, and right now we're digging in some uh, Homemade, very high fat burgers, homemade burgers with some cheddar cheese, of course. It's fitting into my macros, although I've been compensating for my carbohydrate uh, for the fat. You know, I've got something like 130 grams of carbohydrate left over, uh, and the amount of fat in this is uh, ridiculous high. It's, uh, oh, it looks so good. Well, Yesterday, we had those burgers with cheddar cheese. Went way over my fat compensate for the carbohydrate. And my weight dropped. Seventy-eight and a half kilograms, bro. It's a sound system. 